and the squares of the set of 80 added to it. So we're, we're just going to briefly outline our sort of plan of attack so that you guys can follow our reasoning. Basically, the best way that we've found so far in the latest plots has, uh, to compare areas has been through triangles, specifically triangles that share equal bases and are in the same parallel as other figures. So we have to find some way to create those triangles, and then we can use them to compare the two areas that we're talking about. Because we can't just say, well, that square looks like it's double and it's parallel. Right there. So, all righty, all Is oh, sorry, was that Simon's going? No, it was Mr. Gallup. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Gallup? I'm not sure why that's more excusable when it comes to Mr. Gallup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our first one is that we're going to draw um, squares and triangles together. Right? So our first one is that we're going to draw squares AC, AD, and BC because of Prop 46. Okay, and Prop 46, for those of us who may have forgotten, is just the, quite simply the prop that allows us to draw squares. So we are using a prop that allows us to draw squares to draw squares. Choose your answer. Oh, yes. The squares, by the way. Thank you. And there's going to be square A, B, square A, B, square B. Oh, I'm just saying draw them. Uh, you click use the and angle of the point which is after. Oh, yeah. yeah sure. Sure. Um, what she means the square. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, we're not actually identifying the square. It's just easier to say it like this because otherwise we'd be writing forever. It's like right. how we say line um, like GAH as opposed to line GA is on line AH because that's just annoying. So I'm looking at your given. Is that showing that ABC is a right angle? Jesus. No, ABC is a, is a no. right triangle. ABC is a right triangle. Oh, okay, BAC right, right. is a right triangle. Gotcha. Yeah. We are going to draw a line AL equal, oh, parallel, sorry, to line BD. And we can do this because of Prop 31. Great. And Prop 31 is the line that lets us draw parallel lines. So, drawing parallel lines is the prop that allows us to draw parallel lines. All right, next we are going to draw lines um, AL, oh, sorry, no, <laughs> AE and um, GC. I can get this straight. Oh, it was. Um. Wait, Mr. Martin tried A, B, and Ms. Reed tried A, B. Apologies. Okay. Uh, A, B. Yeah. All right, next we need to recognize that angles. Um, oh, sorry, did we fix up the H and the G? Or, no, no, that's fine. We're good. <laughs> We're good. All right, next we're going to recognize that angles, this one? Okay, we have angles FAB right here, angles GBA, and angles DBC. Now all these are going to be right because we just drew these squares as squares, therefore we know that we have to have right angles at the corners. So we also know this because, again, of Prop 46. All right. Next, we need to recognize that line BAH is, well, is a straight line, and also... Yeah. Actually, we didn't mention that, but... Oh, thanks, Jamie. Yeah. Um, so that's CAH. Or C, yeah. What? What? No, oh, just four. Yeah. Um, just a moment. I think she's going to explain. And I think she's... All right. Next... Yeah, conversing right as well, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now we need to recognize that line BAH is in a straight line because of prop number 14, which means that if we have two right angles on a line, then the line must be straight. Makes sense here. And the same can be said for line FAC. So, um, so basically we know that F to C, that's all one straight line, this square and this triangle. And the same goes for BH, this square and this, tri uh, this triangle and this square. And as Ms. Uh, Ms. Reed was alluding to, we know that because here we have a straight line that meets two other straight lines falling upon it at the same point. But these two other straight lines, both of them form right angles with that first straight line. So there's really no way for that to happen unless they're in a straight line, as proven by 14. All right, next we need to recognize that triangle GBC, uh, angle, uh, 
but they'll be doing kind of well. And it'll be easy because we've already got this um, side and this side thing done. But we haven't got the middle yet. That's true. Yeah, yeah. we can leave that that's fine. Oh, right, right, right. right. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay, so now we're going to say that um, angle ABC plus angle GBC is equal to angle right. ABC plus angle ABD. And we can say that because we already proved that these two angles are equal to each other, since they're both right. So we're just adding this angle to both sides. So equal to equals are equal. It must be a slightly easier thing. All right. Now we need to recognize that triangle GBC is equal to triangle ADL because of prop number four. Right. And so I'm sure that you guys all remember what prop four is because it's so controversial. We use it all the time. Should but it be yeah. ED, not Sorry? ADL. Sorry. Uh, um, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, ABD. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah, prop four is if we have one angle equal to another angle, and then the sides that enclose those angles congruent, respectively, then um, the triangles are going to be equal as well. So, we already have our angles right here, we just need to prove the sides. So, if we look at this side of this angle, it's GB, this side of this angle, it's BA. And unfortunately, <coughs> they're both part of the same square, so they have to be equal. We don't even have to do any work, we just know that they're equal. And then if we look at the other side, BD to BC, those are all part of this square right here. So exactly the same thing. So we basically just have our triangles down to us. Very convenient. All right. Our next thing is we need to acknowledge that triangle ABD is half of the parallelogram BL. Yeah. And so we're going to draw out the area not covered by the triangle in this parallelogram with colors. And this is where we're getting into the meat of the problem, because here's that triangle and the parallelogram that we were referring to at the beginning. They share base BD, right? And then the line parallel to BD in the parallelogram, LA, we know that's, and we know that that's the, the triangle is in the same parallel because it meets at point A. So therefore, this is equal to twice that. Thanks to prop. 41. 41. And again, because of prop 41, we know that square AB must equal double triangle GBC. Right. Again, because they share bases. Right. And because they're in the same parallels. Ah, exactly. And this is where that bit about proving that the straight line is in fact straight is important, because that enables us to say that FC as a whole is parallel to GB, not just FA. And the triangle meets at point C, way out there, so we covered it. Are we writing with them? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, are there any questions at this point? Does everyone see kind of what's oh, no. working? You made a point about um, the whole angle um, being extended out to C because. Um, well, um, do you mean the line being extended out to C? Um, yeah, I think that's what you were referring to earlier. Yeah, sorry if I misspoke and said angle, that would be confusing. Um, well, the thing is, we have this square right here with GB parallel to FA, right, since it's a square. But, um, but we don't necessarily know that FA is in a straight line with C. We have to prove that. But now we do. So since we know that the triangle is on the same base here as a, as a square, and it meets at point C, which has to be parallel to GB, because FA is parallel to GB, and this is all part of the same line, mm -hmm. then, therefore, equal base, same parallels, this has to be equal to half of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. All right, now our next step. We know that triangle ABD is equal to triangle BGBC, um, but we also know that they are equal to a parallelogram and a square, respectively. Or and to one half of the... Yeah, one half, sorry. The ratio is the same either way. Yeah. So now we know that things that are equal to one another are also equal to each other. So therefore, parallelogram BL is equal to square AB because of combination number one. Right. So... Does everyone see that from these very stereotypes? Weak point. What? Weak. Weak, weak? 
Oh, I thought you were correcting yeah. me on the three so things. So you didn't, <laughs> you didn't color at all. Yeah. No, we um, are. Yeah. Because if you color it in, you can't see those. Right, things. right, yeah, right. So really it should all be colored in. Everybody should see that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Our next tip is to draw lines A, E, B, K, because it's possible to underline. Okay. And, whoa. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. And at this point, we are Show basically the doing the exact same procedure that we just did. So this is all repetition. And because of what is outlined up here, we know that parallel, I'm um, sorry, that square AC is equal to the parallelogram CL. Right. And so we will start drawing that out. But, um, but like I said, this is the exact same reasoning. So you should be able to just flip it in your head and see how it's the same thing. So, oh dear. I'm just breaking this rock. So here we have these angles which are equal, just like the green and the orange were. And then we have these, this side, which is equal to this side. And then we have this side, which is equal to this side. So therefore, the triangles as a whole are equal. Would you like me to color in the yellow? I would greatly appreciate that, yes. Okay. <laughs> I just draw that line really quick. Or actually, maybe. Oh, no, no, because you do orange. We know that we can add things up. We know that <laughs> square BC is equal to square AC plus square BC, which is exactly what our letter cuts out. So I believe that is QED. Yes. What? <laughs> oh, you're right. right. Oh, no, you can get done. Okay. No one looked. <laughs> Shouldn't that cube be a perfect circle? Oh, yes. <laughs> Compass. Compass time. Compass time. Okay. Yes. Bro. They have a rebounding mark. <laughs> 